Hey folks, welcome back to another video. I want to show you a trick I recently learned from one of my patrons called Boro. And he said you can actually use the note grid in monophonic mode and with boy stacking. So I want to show you this here because it leads to interesting results and interesting devices. So we use a note grid here and this note grid is in monophonic mode, right? So this means we can create a self running patch with this. So we don't know, need the, uh, the input. We only need node outputs. So we're going to use here a triggers module. Output here the gates. And you can hear we trigger just a node of C3 all the time. But we also want to use maybe a pitches module here to get some different pitches out. Something like this. So now we have one voice active because it's a monophonic mode outputting these pitches and these gate signals to this polysynth. Pretty easy, right? So now we set this note grid here into a voice stacking mode, increasing the voices to two. Now we have the monophonic patch here running two times at the same time in monophonic mode. So all we need to do now is basically to make some alterations to each of these voices to voice one and voice two to create some polyphonic output uh, while having still a self-running patch in monophonic mode. Um, so what we're going to do is we um, select here a voice stack modulator. And you can see we have access here now with modulations to voice one and voice two. And we can also switch this here to the first mode. So we have a modulation uh, signal of ranging from zero to one. So now we disable here the pre-chord of this pitches module. You can see it's, it holds here the playhead in place. And we can use a phase in here and also a merge. Connect the merge here to the phase input and also the phase input to the merge here. So now it's running exactly like before. And we want to target here with the second input jack, basically the second voice. We can do this by just connecting this two and maybe alter the signal a bit. So we use a reverse here just to make it clear what happens. And to distinguish between the two voices, we need here also a value, value knob. And you maybe already guessed that we just modulate here with the mo uh, voice stack modulator this value. So now we have two monophonic patches running and each voice using different phase signals. The first one is using this signal here, which is our original signal. And the second voice is using this signal here, basically reversed. You can see we have two playheads now here. One is playing forwards and one is playing backwards, right? Interesting. So now we can do the same here to, tr to the triggers because this trigger module uh, sends out the triggers to these two voices at the same time. So we can also distinguish these two here by using, yeah, just yeah, duplicate this basically here. Using this for voice one and this for voice two, maybe a different setting here. And also connecting here the value. You can see we have now voice one playing this pitches module with this phase signal and with this trigger setting. And voice two is playing in reverse with this trigger setting. I probably also want to have here a sample and hold in place because um, the step size of this mat don't match here the trigger size. So you can use here also the output of this. So we have a sample and hold for each voice differently. can create some polyrhythms with this, you can see. So now that we have this, we can of course increase the voices here to three. So now we have three outputs here from the voice stack modulator. We can also increase here the ports imports for, uh, for the merges. Maybe we use here a scalar time. 
So now you can see we have three playheads here playing in different speeds in different directions and create some polyrhythm changes to it. Um, another thing is you don't need actually to use this merge module. You can also use the select module. This works too. But you have only two inputs, but sometimes you just need two, right? And you can also just uh, use the modulation itself. So maybe use a transpose here and transpose the outputs of, of this of this pitch, pitches module on each voice and then just use the voice stack modulator here and just modulate and each voice gets it gets now its different offset its pitch offset or transpose offset maybe go here to 12 it's all over the place but we can use a key track here maybe send it to gives a nice rhythm. So pulley rhythms from the note grid in monophonic mode separated by the voice stack modulator. So you have everything in one patch and you can decide which voice or which voice stack gets which trigger input and which phase input and which pitch alteration or pitch offset. And you can create nice patches because now you can just go in here and select different settings. It's already a small little melody maker. Also, you can use this trick with all my self-running generative uh, presets I made in the recent years. Just apply a voice stack uh, or create voice stacks and then use the modulation of the voice stack modulator to create different settings for each voice and maybe get a more richer output of all these generative patches. So in this example here I have a self-running patch using a phase in sign mod attenuate sample and hold to just create a nice little melody. You can change the melody by changing the sign mod here. And then you can also change the note range by using this attenuate here. Maybe call it note range. And call this melody here. Now you can create chords from this actually by using the voice stack. So we're having the note grid here. I dialed in three notes or three voice stacks actually. And you can use the voice stack modulator now to modulate here. The value is also 0 to 1 to increase the note range on each stack differently. Each of these stacks gets a different scaled value from 0 to 1. Maybe change the melody also. You can also implement here a transpose. Both here uh, in the positive range. Maybe we can also add here a second voice stack. And the second one doesn't have a range of 0 to 1. We go actually from minus 1 to plus 1. So when we modulate trans transpose, it also goes into the negative range. So 
can enrich your monophonic patches drastically by using voice stack. You can also switch this here to manual mode so you can decide which modulation gets which voice stack. So when you modulate your transpose for instance, you can say just let voice one alone, right? Modulate your maybe a transpose of 50% to the transpose and maybe the last one here gets 100% transpose. So you can also use manual here to target certain voice stacks with different values. Let's create here maybe different triggers for different voice stacks. So we can use here of course, uh, like I used before, a merge module to distinguish between different triggers. We can also uh, just modulate here the value. We don't have chords anymore, it's more like a melody or polyrhythmic melody. possibilities actually to play around with just using the voice stack modulator and the note grid or also monophonic polygrids also possible to use it that way you don't need to use a polygrid uh, a note grid it's also possible with, with uh, polygrids Nice tip how you can use voice decks on grids in Bitwig Studio. Uh, thanks for letting me know, Boro. Also, thanks to all my patrons who keep me up to date with the latest shit in the Bitwig universe and inspiring me for new video content. Also, thanks to all my patrons in general for supporting me for that long. You guys rock. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you liked the video, and see you next time. Bye.